Hi everyone, this is Illico from MasterWaterWarcraft.com with a demonstration of Zyger's in-game leveling guide. Today we're demonstrating the Horde side of the leveling guide. Uh, we've created a brand new uh, Horde character, uh, an undead warrior. You can see here 3 minutes 55 seconds uh, of playing time. If we go up towards the minimap, uh, we can click open Zyger guide and see what it has to offer. So we have uh, Zyger's Guide, uh, full detail uh, on all the steps of how to get through in this section from 1 to 13. So we can see through here, uh, 131 very quick steps to go from uh, levels 1 to 13. Uh, if we click open on the drop down box, uh, if you were to purchase this guide or to get access to this guide uh, and you've already got a character that's say at level 30 uh, or level 45 or 50, you can immediately jump down to those areas or those sections uh, and start in and take up the guide wherever you start from. So this isn't just for brand new characters. Uh, if we're starting back here at uh, level 1, you can see our first task is simply to go outside the crypt. If you're unsure of uh, exactly how to do that, uh, it's very easy to skip forward. And you can see that we've now got this little green arrow that gives us an indication, firstly, of how close we are to our objective and, and how far away we are down here. If we run outside uh, to see our first objective, we can accept our first quest here, Rude Awakening. So let's uh, run outside. Okay guys, we've uh, accepted our first quest. Uh, a couple of things to take note here is that the arrow that was green has now turned a yellow-orange colour. Uh, this indicates how far away we are from our quest. We're going to see we're 193 yards and if we start moving we can see that we've given a time here based on our, how quickly we're moving along how long it will take us to get to that objective. If we just stop there for a moment and we press uh, go into the map we can see here that we've got our, uh, our highlight here. Um, we do have all the highlights for this section and you can turn that off, but um, so let's just go back and uh, quickly do that. Uh, we jump back into our map. You can see all those other dots have gone there. Um, but the one we're after here for this step is uh, to talk to Shadow Priest Savaris. Um, you can see a very good tip standing inside the church. This is really useful uh, if you're unsure of whereabouts uh, a character is or an NPC is uh, or an objective is. It actually gives you almost pinpoint accuracy uh, to complete that quest or that, that particular task in that quest. So let's uh, continue to run through uh, to see Savaris. Uh, while we're doing that you can also uh, just note that you can minimize this guide uh, so it doesn't take up your entire uh, HUD space. Um, you don't want it taking up an entire space. You can also close it uh, you know, to, to make sure you've got maximum viewing room. Click it open again. And here we are now coming up to turn in our quest and accept a new one from Savaris. So now we've been given a new quest, we can see again the arrow has been updated. Uh, importantly, the, the guide itself, once you uh, accept, complete and move through the objectives, it automatically skips down to the next ta pa uh, task that you have to complete. So, you know, very handy to go through. All you need to do is follow this arrow to complete your, complete your quests. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete this quest and I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so we're back again. Uh, we're just about to complete uh, our first quest here. Uh, just one thing I want to make note of that while you do have your standard uh, quest updates here, that uh, the Zyger Guide also gives you your quest update uh, as part of its guide. You can see we've got uh, one mindless zombie and one wretched zombie to go, so let's go ahead and uh, knock those guys off. Okay, just got the uh, wretched zombie to go. Of course, when you want a wretched zombie, you can't. Uh, you can never seem to find one. Always seems to be the way. Okay, so after that uh, has been completed, we can see that we've already jumped down uh, from uh, that task to 
uh, another instruction and it's growing to level three if you're not level three already so you know we're, uh, we've got a little bit way to go and we're only halfway through level two so we'd need to do a bit of grinding um, only killing these uh, rattle cage uh, skeletons wretched zombies and such things until we are uh, we can then see that uh, we're being instructed on uh, number seven task seven to go and kill uh, rattle cage skeletons around this area and get three rattle cage uh, skulls once we've completed that uh, to go back to Savaris uh, and hand those in. Now, the reason we've been instructed to do that is that that's the quickest way to, to level up, is to go and do as many quests as you can before you have to run back and um, and hand those quests in. So that's one of the great things about Zyger's Guide, uh, is that uh, Jack John Cook has spent a lot of time ensuring that uh, the quickest levels, uh, the quickest way to complete quests uh, are done uh, in the right order so that you get from uh, level 1 to level 80 as quickly as possible. So we're just going to pause it there and we are going to go and have a look at uh, Zyger's uh, members area so you can see what other additional benefits you get uh, out, of this, uh, out of this great guide. Okay, so here we are in uh, Zyger Guide. Uh, we're in the members area here and we can see that uh, uh, we have access to the Horde Leveling, uh, leveling Guide 1 to 80 here. Uh, the installation instructions which are, are very detailed. We can also go and add uh, the Alliance Leveling Guide uh, if we want as well. I unfortunately, or actually fortunately, don't uh, don't play Alliance, so I don't uh, really have any need for that guide, but uh, uh, I always use Zyger's Guide uh, as one of my tools to get from uh, level 1 to 80 as quickly as I can for all of my uh, characters. Some bonus materials in the Zyger Guide uh, is a great uh, Death Knight Player's Guide uh, for the new Wrath of the Lich King uh, expansion, uh, an inscription leveling guide, uh, which is also part of the Wrath of the Lich King uh, expansion, so, so two very great uh, bonus materials there. Also a talent builds guide uh, for all of your uh, talent requests and uh, your talent structures and specifications uh, and another drink guide. Uh, we can see that um, they're coming soon over here that Zyga is constantly updating uh, his guide and it's very well worth the investment particularly if you want to take getting your character uh, from level 1 to 80 seriously or if you're struggling to, to level your characters and looking for the best way to do it. So the Zyga guide, highly recommended. I hope you check it out. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. Uh, again, this is uh, Illico. If you want uh, more information about Zyger's Guide or other guides on how you can make the most of World of Warcraft, you can check us out at uh, www.masterworldofwarcraft.com.